Oi Charlies, welcome back to the Live for Life. Disclaimer again, as you may have noticed in the last video, I am back and it's very, very difficult to maintain good sound in here. I have my mic on and all that stuff, so it should be better, but like, it's it's still not, it's still not, but hopefully next week, I'll have the proper mic and hopefully next week, I'll also get rid of this bum fluff over here. Um, I am very excited. I am very excited about what we're doing today because it is the start of a new journey, isn't it? It's a new journey. Um, I think we're calling it TL reactions. TL. Re it sounds like timeline reactions. So I don't know. It hasn't stuck yet. We'll, we might fix that. Um, but it's TL reactions until further notice, which is the Liffa reactions. Obviously, it's inspired by like this rant that I went on when I found out that the Wall of China is twenty one thousand kilometers long. It's one. It's twenty one thousand. Like it's my profile picture on Inst on WhatsApp right now because twenty one thousand kilometers. The Earth's circumference is. 40,000 kilometers. If you do two laps of that thing, you've done the world, around the world. That's my chat. That's my chat. The moon is 10,000. So if you do two laps of the Great Wall of China, you have done four laps of the moon. Think about it. These men were different gravy. That's basically, and I was like, you know what, I need to. So I reacted to that on my WhatsApp and I thought that was pretty cool. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's react to more facts, I guess. And myths, I guess. I guess we're, we're just learning. This is what we're learning. We're learning. We're not gonna do like reaction videos to like, I don't know, nonsense. Here, here we learn. We learn here. Every Friday. Let's get it. Uh, that's that bounce. That's what I wanted right there. Uh, here we come. Watch this, yo. Okay, Rocket Man, 10 facts about our planet you didn't learn in school. We seem to think we know pretty much all there is to know about our That's familiar a good home planet that nothing can surprise us at this point. But are you willing to bet money on that? You might know that it's called the Blue Planet. But mm -hmm. did you know that scientists say Earth was originally a different color? Ah, uh, shut or up. Or that the moon isn't shut Earth's up. only no satellite? Is. Intrigued? <laughs> Good. Ah, then let's get up. to know our home planet a little better with these 10 little-known earthly facts. Counting down from number 10. Oh, but yeah, I remember learning in geology that there may have been a time when the planet was covered in like lava pretty much like before there were ever any people and all that stuff so obviously this is based like on those those theories um which as a christian i don't really rate but yeah the moon is probably a chunk of the, the earth the moon is probably oh i know this one actually i know this one so let me tell you what let me tell you what it is so apparently there was like the earth right and then there was this planet um a small planet about about the size of mars or earth something like that and it smashed into the earth and then they broke and then like yeah the debris like kind of went all around the earth and you know like so the debris orbited the earth and then eventually like came together and formed what we know today as the moon and that planet was called Thea. i don't know if i already said that but yeah i love the name so much that my very first car which is the mazda mx5 i've already decided that i'm gonna name her Thea. that's how i know this the planet had its cosmic companion scientists believe that the early earth was all alone in its path around the sun then, about 4 billion years ago, when the Earth was still just a baby, a gigantic space rock the size of Mars and with the lovely name Thea Oi. collided with Call our planet. Me Einstein, As a result, uh, some people speak too much, you know, calm down, relax, relax a little bit, not speak too much, speak, speak, speak. A huge chunk of the Earth broke away and later became our satellite, the Moon. Okay, I, I shouldn't have searched this because obviously I know a lot of the stuff about particularly about the earth because not only did I do geography in high school, but I did I'm doing geography right now Number seven earth had and still might have one more moon. Oh shut up. No is Some scientists <laughs> believe no that is. our planet used to have an additional satellite According to their research a smaller celestial body about 750 miles wide, orbited the Earth just like a second moon. Okay, cool, it most likely crashed it's, it's into our main anymore. satellite later on. Such a collision could explain why the two sides of the moon look so different from each other, one being heavily cratered and rough. 
Scientists also don't rule out the probability that one day Earth will get another satellite. Even today, there are tons of celestial bodies that follow the planet. They're mostly temporary companions, though. But scientists say that the gravitational fake field news, of our fake planet... News. You see, right in the beginning they said that they, it might still be there, the second moon. I knew that that's cap. And obviously, if they're going to be like, there could have been a second moon, that's just like bomb speculation. Number 5. Our planet is covered in gold. Really? About 20 million tons of gold can be found inside our very own planet and in the seas. If all this precious metal could be extracted, it would be enough to cover the entire surface of the planet in a two-foot layer of gold. Oh, that's what they mean. And if we gave everyone okay. an equal piece, wow. each one of Earth's inhabitants would get nine pounds of this treasure. But nine don't rush out to dig up your backyard just yet. I mean, well, there's, there's eight billion people, nine pounds, nine times eight, what's that? Help me, guys. That's... 72 too, so 72 billion pounds of... Apparently there's like gold everywhere, but it's not mineable. So that's why we don't like... Well, it's, it's mineable, but it's not economically efficiently mineable. Yeah. The metal is extremely diluted. You can only get a gram of gold for every 100 million tons of seawater. But exactly. can we at least try, please? Number 4. Earth used to be purple. See, bums. Marau. Now, Dr. Shil Desarma, a Dr. microbial Shil geneticist Desarma. from the University of Maryland, hypothesizes, fraud. which is a $10 scientific word for guesses, that our planet was once purple. He thinks that ancient microbes probably didn't use chlorophyll, but other molecules to process sunlight. These molecules most likely would have given a violet hue to the microbes, turning the entire planet purple. Man, Prince was born way too early. He would have loved that. <laughs> Number 3. The tallest mountain on the planet isn't what you oh, think. Oh, shut up, it's Everest, dude. Don't do now, that. This may seem shocking, but the title oh, okay, of the Okay, 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 okay. I know, I know what they're gonna say. I know what they're gonna say. The tallest mountain isn't Everest. Everest is probably the highest mountain, right? The highest mountain above sea level, but it's not the tallest mountain in terms of from base to, to what do they call, to summit. That's not, that's not what they're gonna say, these frauds. This mountain in the world might be stolen from Mount Everest. No doubt this enormous mountain reaches 29,029 feet above sea level, and there's no other mountain on Earth that stands so tall. So high. But there is Mauna Kea. A mountain in Hawaii. It's mostly it stands under, proud with its underwater. peak just oh. about 13,802 feet above sea level. By the way, this makes Hawaii the second tallest island in the whole world. So, what are we getting at, you ask? That's much shorter than Mount Everest, after all. True, but the thing is that the largest part of this over one million year old mountain is underwater. And if measured from the very bottom on the ocean floor to the peak, Mauna Kea is 33,000 feet tall, making it, technically, the tallest mountain on the that's planet. That's fair, that's fair, Aloha. you know. That's fair. I mean, technicalities, but it's fair. Number two, Earth has exploding lakes. Well, on the border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo hey, and Rwanda, Joals. as well as in Cameroon, there are three deadly explosive lakes. Nyos, Monel, Nios. and Kivu are crater lakes that Nios. are located over volcanic earth. Nios. This means that magma lurking below the surface emits carbon dioxide into the waters of the lake. This carbon dioxide builds up in a thick layer at the bottom of the lakes until pressure gives way and it's released in an explosion. Now, it doesn't happen often, but if anyone is unlucky enough to be passing by at that moment, they'll be asphyxiated with the gas. Oh my. So it's really a farting lake that can kill you if you get too close. But like, if you're out in the open, won't like the... the Wait, let me let me search this. Won't, won't the gas just like, pshum, like just go away fast, fast and you won't die? I feel like if you're really out in the open, how... If it was concentrated, I understand, but it's not concentrated. Uh, what do we say? Uh, gas explosion lakes. Explosion lakes. Gas explosion lakes. 
um, Lake Nyons. Hey, bro, they, they're not even capping these guys. Um, okay, they're telling us about a, an, an event, okay? On, on 21 August 1986, a limnic eruption at Lake Nyons in northern western Cameroon. Oh, it's Cameroon even. It's not, it's not the Joels. Never mind, guys. Um, killed 17,000 people. No, no, no. The eruption triggered the sudden release of about 100,000 to 300,000 tons of carbon dioxide. Oh snap! Okay, that much. Okay, the gas cloud initially. I want a video of this thing, bruv. You know, next time this happens, someone must be close enough to take a video. The gas cloud initially rose at at nearly 100 kilometers per hour. Whoa, 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 whoa! That is fast. That is like faster than a volcanic eruption, isn't it? Being heavier than air, descended onto nearby villages, displacing. Whoa, killed 1,746,000 people. What? 3,500 livestock. And you know that's the important chat. People we don't care so much about. Wow. Listen, it's been the Liffa reactions. I didn't, I personally didn't like this video because it was just full of fraudulent stuff. Well, in the beginning, the stuff I knew, and then towards the end, it was just lies like purple earth. You know, some, sometimes like one scientist will just speculate like, hmm, perhaps, and then people just like climb on it like, shut up, man, shut up. <sighs> it's been an amazing experience. Ciao. Drake beard ain't real. That's a weave. Drake beard ain't real. That's a weave. Canadian weave. Canadian weave. Did it to yourself. Tricks up my sleeve.